Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joyce and today I'm going to show you how you can remove the background of your picture for either your thumbnails, your pins or any project that you have. You can do it with Canva. So let's get started. First of all, I wanted to mention that if you're new to my channel, if you want to know more about how you can make thumbnails using Canva, you should check this video right here. Let's get started with our video. First of all, you are going to go to canva.com canva and then you're going to log in. And once that you're logged in, you need to try the pro version. So in order to do this, if I show you directly from a different account, you can use the pro version for a month and after a month Canva will build you either monthly or yearly. So the monthly subscription will be 60, let me just check, um, it will be 16 99 Canadian dollars and if you go yearly you will be charged 12.99 per month but it will be one charge okay I'm gonna choose uh, create a design and the design that I'm gonna be choosing will be creating a thumbnail so I'm gonna choose YouTube thumbnail and then we are going to choose any photo that we have here on Canva. So let's say we're going to use this one as a background. What you want to do is to remove everything that it's behind, right? So you will go and click effects and here it's the background remover. It takes only a few seconds. Let's just click here. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it took ten seconds to remove the background, and as you can see here in the front, you can still see a little bit of the table that was beside this person. So we're going to remove it by just cutting the picture, and then you can change the size and put it right here and add some text or whatever, but there is no background. Also, you can add a background by choosing background here. And let's say that you want to choose this one, which will be a little bit epic, but it's nice to do this. And you can just play around with different backgrounds. Like for example, they have some colors this one looks nice as well it looks like a little bit tri-dimensional and also you can you can change the transparency of the background or the filter of the picture as well but this is uh, just different things I just wanted to show you how you can remove the background and let's try and upload a new picture so I'm gonna remove this and if if I use this for example and I want to this is one picture of me so let's remove the background let's see how it looks okay so here it is and you can change to any other feature or effect from here you can try and play with any other things adding text adding more elements this is the way that you can remove the background from your thumbnails i think it's a feature that it's worth it if you're using canva a lot for your projects so i will highly suggest it and also it's not that the, the monthly price is not so high so you, it's it's affordable. I will leave a referral link 
on the description box so you can get some Canva credits and Canva credits are virtual tokens that you can use to buy premium elements, images or illustrations within Canva. It's a plus that you will get. It's, it's super easy to use Canva and this background remover is a really good feature. One thing to tell you is that you actually cannot do this. I've tried on your phone. So in your phone, these are the options that appear on Canva. If you go to Canva, then if you click on create a design, use the thumbnail, then you will click on blank and add an image. Uh, let's say this one. And if you choose to remove, there's no option. Like for example, here you do it by going to your picture and you click on effects. So if you click on your picture, in your picture on your phone, mm, there is no effect option. So you have the filters, you have um, the transparency that it's up here, but you don't have more options right here. So, and if you click here, it just go to background and it's not the same. So, it's different. And that will be it for today. So, I hope you like this video and if you do, please click on the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.